of all of the great possessions of the nation. It's nice to take a moment off and brag about the cultural asset of the nation. And this simple, swell, big-hearted fella, I asked him to come out here to be the guest solist because of all my singers and my pet singers in this world, he's it. I don't have to sell him to a human being. But as a friend, I always indulge in the notion of while they can hear it, if you really have an affection and like something, never pull your punches. And I asked my old friend, John, if he'd come out and join us. And he hopped in a plane Saturday and came out here to be our guest solace. And on the program tonight, he's going to sing that wonderful folk song, Home on the Rain. Nevin's lovely, mighty like a rose. And Jerry Kern's immortal American classic, Old Man River. And then he's going to sing a little song written by a colleague of mine who I wrote with in the Follies for many, many years. And I asked him to get on a train to come on out here and play the piano. And John is going to sing a little song from the Follies called Sally Won't You Come Back. And then for a finish, he's going to sing what I think is one of the loveliest composition in all American music. A setting by my dear friend Albert A. Malott which is made of the Lord's Prayer. And my dear friend Pete Hayes has done such a brilliant job here of leadership with this orchestra. <laughs> well, grab a little rest for himself at the end of the Sally song and the gentleman that will walk on and pick up the baton is Albert Hay Malott who made this musical setting, this beautiful setting for the Lord's Prayer. And it affords me infinite joy to have you see again one of the greatest friends California ever had. We browsed together up in the Bohemian Grove And here he is, John Charles Stamm. And 
the skies are not cloudy all day. How often at night when the heavens are bright with the light from the glittering stars, have I stood there amazed and asked as I gazed, if their glory exceeds that of ours. Oh, give me a long, the world of bright diamond sand flows leisurely down the stream where the graceful white Like a maid in a heavenly dream Then I wouldn't exchange my home on the range Where the deer and the antelope play World, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Where the deer and the Look 
looking at his mammy with eyes so shiny blue makes you think that Dave Stamper, the composer at the piano of the next little tune. Oh. 
Exciting evening for me as I've sat out there amongst you in different parts of the house, listened to how few of you knew the words of all your favorite songs. <clears throat> <laughs> Incidentally, I don't know whether he mentioned it or not, but uh, Gene wrote the words for Sally. <laughs> <clears throat> that it was because I was invited here tonight that we are under a roof. <laughs> Didn't it rain? <laughs> Thank you all very much. I'm thankful to Jean and this great organization that's afforded me an opportunity to again sing back home. I've known John 30 years. I saw him start in light musical comedy. I've seen him attain the heights as an interpreter of song, second to no living American. I've heard him sing in the Metropolitan, and I've heard him sing in concert. I've heard him sing around piano in a club. And I've heard him sing in the soft glow of the firelight in the Bohemian woods. But I can frankly say, as a person just peeking and listening, and not because he's on with us. But I never heard John sing better in my life than he did tonight. <laughs> 